And in the impact segment tonight, Hillary Clinton getting set to testify in front of the Benghazi committee in the House of Representatives. That will take place on Thursday. And yesterday, some members of that committee, all Democrats, said there's nothing to investigate. Joining us now from Washington, Fox News analyst Kirsten Powers. So is there nothing to investigate? Well, look, I've always been, I guess, one of the few Democrats who think that this was an issue that required investigation in the first place and that it is something that did, did, did deserve investigation and has been investigated quite a bit, actually. Uh, I think that the problem is, is that now it has been... Uh, tarnished by the fact that you have, uh, you know, Kevin, had Kevin McCarthy saying that this was the Benghazi hearings were essentially political. Look at how they were, you know, were affecting Hillary Clinton's uh, poll numbers, and that sort of fed into the narrative that the Democrats were pushing, which is this is just a hit job on Hillary Clinton. And so I don't think it has any credibility. Is the problem? Is okay, that, so you don't that, think the committee hearing on Thursday has any any credibility? I, not really. No? I think that it's been severely, severely undermined. I think to the average person who isn't following this closely, or perhaps to the average Democrat who believes, you well, know, certainly when the Clinton Democrats. Says, this is just certainly yeah, the Democrats. They, 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 want, they don't want to know anything about it, and they don't care about it. Bernie Sanders, they don't care. Um, but well, he was the email thing. He wasn't Benghazi, but it's tied in. But uh, I'm going to give you a compliment now, Powers. All right. So take a deep breath. You ready for the oh compliment? Gosh, okay. okay. So you're a pretty well informed woman. I mean, if you weren't, you wouldn't be uh, here on the fact. You're pretty I'm well gonna play this. I'm going to play this back to you in the future. No, I mean, I, you know me, no spin zone. You're pretty well informed. Yeah. Do you know why Hillary Clinton did not respond to a direct cable from mm -hmm. Ambassador Stevens asking for more security? He didn't get it. He cabled directly to right. Hillary Clinton. She was his boss. Right. Do you know why Mrs. Clinton did not respond to that? Well, I think what she said is that she didn't see it. Okay. Right? I mean, that's. Then, if she didn't see it, what does that say about her as the head of the State Department? Okay, well, I, if you want to give her the benefit of the doubt, no, you no, I say don't. I don't want to give her the benefit of the doubt. Why <laughs> well, would I, I want to do should, that? I think she you should have is to give the, the, the Secretary of State. And I'm asking you. No, no, no. That's not what I'm saying, though. What I'm saying is that if you want to give her the benefit of the doubt and say that there there are things that come in that she doesn't necessarily oh, see, a, a request okay. for security from but, an American ambassador—that's let, let pretty big. Let me let me finish. What I'm saying though, even if she didn't see it, there were other requests that were made. A lot of so, requests. Th right. So there were many requests that were made. To to senior people, and, and so there's really no excuse for it. I, okay. I do think that, good, that, good, good, you know, good. Okay. that it should so, have so been So you and I, are, we're, we're, we're kind of going down the yellow brick road together, <laughs> all right? Mm. Um, I'm the Tin Man, and you're Dorothy. Now, that's okay. all that the committee on Thursday has to establish. They have to ask her point blank. Did you know about this cable from Ambassador Stevens? No, I didn't. Okay. What does it say about your leadership capacity that you didn't know an urgent request from a sitting ambassador in a dangerous region that you're deeply involved with and you don't know about it? What does that say about your leadership? That's it. That's all. You but, don't have to get well, into this and okay, that but, and the other thing. That's the crux of the matter. They're not going to do that. Yeah, they, they don't. Will. This is here, here's the other problem with them. They are the gang that cannot shoot straight if you have not noticed. Well, if they're watching uh, they, this program, really, and I believe they are, that's exactly what they're going to do. Because they, well, you're I, right. I, I'd be very surprised if she, they're not outmaneuvered by her, because I, I think that she's going to probably somehow be, be able to turn this to her advantage. Because I think that she has a, you know, she she's more she's on top a, of things than they are. She's frankly. a very I smart mean, woman, and and anybody who denies that is not smart. But I will tell I you mean, this. Look at what, I will tell you look this. What Trey, look what Trey Gowdy just did, Bill. I mean, where he I, accused her of I'm not going to get into release. any of that. I mean, all, all I'm okay, saying well, to you is this. I think this. it matters. If I'm a simple man, and you know I am, Powers, and Indeed. I can and I can frame questions like that, they can too. If they choose not to, then I'll walk away from this Benghazi investigation. But I don't mm -hmm. think they will. I think they're going to get right to the heart of the matter. It speaks to leadership. And if you didn't know about this, did you fire anybody? Did you fire anybody for not telling you? Who? When? That's how you do it. Simple is best. Kirsten Powers, everybody, very well informed, as always. <laughs> Directly ahead, President Obama promising to veto the military spending bill. Will that put our forces overseas in danger? Then a follow up on the Confederate flag group now charged with gang related activities in Georgia. Also, the Georgian woman who allegedly made terrorist threats online. Is it legal? Moments away.